Hello everyone, so welcome. This is how I discuss the topic Earth's natural resources to my students. So the MELC or the most essential learning competency for this lesson is cite and explain ways of using Earth's resources sustainably. So in this discussion, this is more on student, I mean interactive activities with the students. So I'm going to ask one student to define in their own words natural resources using this wheel okay so i make wheel of names so if you want to also give you a tutorial on how to make this wheel of names it can give you so just click on the center portion and using this arrow i will call magno for example to answer my question regarding natural resources Okay, so basically natural resources comes uh, using the root word nature. So these are resources that we can see in our environment, in the surrounding areas. So it is from nature. Kumbaga. So we have types of natural resources. First is renewable resources. So when you see renewable resources, they can be replaced or replenished easily. So, examples are plants, animals, wind, solar, geothermal, water, and many more. So, for example, plants are replaced by new ones after each harvest. Animals have the capacity to reproduce and are replaced when young animals are born, and so on. The second type of natural resources is non-renewable resources. So when you see non-renewable resources, they cannot be replaced or replenished easily. So examples are soil, petroleum, coal, natural gas, and minerals. So minerals could be metallic or non-metallic minerals. So it takes millions of thousands or millions of years for them to be replenished so for example soil comes from or soil comes from rocks and it takes thousands of years for it to form and for the fossil fuels like the coal the natural gas petroleum it takes millions of years for dead plants and animals to turn into fossil fuels so here we have the examples of renewable resources okay so for renewable resources we made mention of this already and the non-renewable resources so now we have this question i'm using the ink no class point in the powerpoint to let the students answer this question using the multiple choice interactive activity so i'll just click on that and this will appear okay and meron siyang class point and code for the students to enter just close the submission you can choose to save for review the second portion is are the colored or the colored picture of the one we can see in the booklet so out of the natural resources at the bottom we have the products we can get then using the interactive activity again I'm going to ask the student give one product you can get from water resources using the interactive activity short answer again i'll just click on that and yes mag appear siya just close the submission save for review all right the next yeah speaking of the products we can get from water resources so water resources can be in the form of bays rivers uh, lakes, falls, straits, 
streams, and many more. How about watershed? Are they also water resources? Yes. So during rainfall, not all the waters will flow to the river. Some are absorbed as groundwater and they will be stored in the watershed. It's like this. It's a car. It's all of us are standing on the watershed. So it will be used when there is no rainfall. It will just flow out to you, to our home. I mean, yeah. The ones we use at home, they came from, uh, the water comes from the watershed. So we have some common watershed. So we have Upper Agno Watershed, San Roque Watershed, Makiling Banaha Watershed, Magat Watershed, Pantambang, Pantabangan Watershed. It says it is known as the second largest watershed in Asia. Then Angat Watershed, Kaliraya Watershed, and we have Lake Lanao Agos Watershed. This is the watershed common to Lanao del Sur and Lanao del Norte. Then yes, because water resources are not of unlimited supply, that means it can also run out run out of I mean it is not in an endless supply not in endless supply they can be used up so we have to mention ways to conserve water resources so out of these pictures here I'm going to ask the students to Identify what is this picture about again using the wheel of names All right, then they have to stand and answer me. What is this picture about? So using this picture, what is that way to conserve water resources? This is one of the ways to conserve water resources. What is this and this one and this one? The next resources is we have the soil resources. Before proceeding, I'm going to ask using the interactive activity again, are soil resources renewable or non-renewable? Students have to answer. We just close this afterwards. Then yeah, soil resources are very useful for especially to us farmers. Now, some of the activities in some of our human activities activities contribute to these soil related problems. What are these activities? This one. What activity is that? This is deforestation. This is intensive farming. So this contributes to the problem of soil erosion. This will lead to the, lo the loss of soil nutrients. This will lead to soil erosion. If this happens, can we still get enough food supply then? So it's not. So how, what are we going to do? So we have to conserve soil. So what are the ways to protect and conserve soil nutrients? Before proceeding, can you tell what problems are shown here? Yes, illegal lagging leads to flooding. <gasps> okay, so again, I am going to ask the students to enumerate what are these pictures about to conserve. They are the ways to conserve soil nutrients. So, what are these pictures all about? They have to identify them using the wheel of names. I'm going to call their names. Then, we, I'm going to proceed to the energy resources. Then, out of that energy resources, I'm going to show them how, how these, like for example, solar energy work at home to support us 
with our electricity so this example okay okay and this example here the solar setup we have at home i'm going to show them and yeah so this is the inverter the controllers and the batteries so yung panel is nasa rooftop so hindi makikita dito so using yeah my controllers tayo and each of them has their own functions and they are very important to one, I mean to each other they have they have to help each other for our solar setup to function and yeah okay i am trying to let the, my viewers narrate them and using this kapag down solar yung ginagamit namin at up naman kapag uh, Sigo Electric Company yung ginagamit namin na electricity. Yeah, and this is all about the geothermal energy, then the hydrothermal energy, then the wind energy, then we also have the coal. Okay, how coal um, work to provide electricity to our homes. Then, yeah, so hanggang doon lang tayo regarding energy resources. Meron pa tayong petroleum, meron pa tayong natural gas. The one we used in our LPG, but hindi na natin ito napakita. I'm going to ask the questions, how are you conserving energy resources right now? So the students have to answer. And yeah, word cloud interactive activity ang ating ginagano. And yeah, that ends our lesson for Earth's natural resources. And if you want to um, let me do the tutorial on how to do these interactive activities and the uh, wheel of names in PowerPoint, you just comment down below. So thank you for watching this video and bye-bye.